Hello, and welcome back to Spiritfarer. Oh, lovely. Of course, we have, uh, that guy. I've honestly forgotten his name. It's been, it's been a little while. Um, I'd take a small hiatus from recording, so instead of having the, the video done last Friday, uh, it's going up today, which is, which is lovely. Now, who do I need to chat with here? Uh, over here. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. Oh. What's your deal again, old man? Oh wait, we can just talk to you, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you any clutter, I'm always interested. Maybe we could even trade. You give me your useless objects, I'll mm -hmm. give you mine. Mm -hmm. Just thought of new curios makes my head spin. I've neatly organized my stock in errands. Take a look for yourself. Everyone loves errands. Is this just like generic radiant quests? Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm instantly chipper to see a dynamic young lady being so hard at work. Not that Sharon wasn't a true professional, but his manners were, well, a bit mm -hmm. cold, if you know what I mean. And he kept everything he found. What a pity. <laughs> but you're here now. Huzzah, if I dare say. Oh, and don't fret, budding mariner. <laughs> if ever needed, old Francis will never be too far. Okay, so it is Francis. Lovely. But don't let me be an impediment to your appetite for adventure. Go on, set sail, little blue jacket. Aw, oh, little blue jacket. Alright. Errands. So he wants me to collect some fruit, poached fruit, some grilled fish, and some grilled veg. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure I could do all that just right now, right? In my kitchen. Uh... I have fish. I have veg. And do I have fruit? I do. Yeah, so I can, like, cook literally all of this right now. Um... Yeah, uh... Last time we, we, did, we learned the whole, like, you know... Make a thing, making plants grow with music, and it was like really tough to concentrate on because it was like, oh, I want to look at the plants, but also I don't want to mess this up because the mini game itself was like kind of simple, but it also requires, I don't know, it, it like stimulates a part of my brain I don't use very often. Oh. Alright, Francis, you'll have your thing shortly enough. Oh, uh, I feel a little bad. I feel like I've, I've, I feel like I gave, um, what's this guy's name again? Uh, oh, it's a cool name as well. I feel like I gave him a pretty, like, war, like an early round voice in a way. Um, how close is this to done? We'll pop something else on. So we'll have to see how we get it. Because I, I really just, I, the voice came out of first impression, so I'll, I'll probably be able to, like, figure it out again. Yeah, there we go. That's some poached fruit. We're going to cook some herring. That'll take a good while as well, so, so it'll give me an option to go down here and talk to this gentleman, Ooh. our uncle. Oh, I remember now. There seems to be quite a few new faces aboard. I like her, don't get me wrong. I just don't want you to forget about your old uncle, a tool. Yeah, it's a tool. Ooh. You know me, I'm Mr. Personality. I can get along with anyone, anywhere, anytime. I just didn't think I'd have to make new friends at my age. Ooh. You don't have to worry. Yeah. I'll be alright. Oh, he's so, he's so, like, delightful. Sorry I even brought it up. I'll just go stand on the edge of the boat and take in the splendor, you know? <sighs> Hopefully no bugs will fly in my mouth. You're a frog. Is that not exactly what you want? Oh, it's no fun. Also, he's so, he, like, the weight, the weighting of these characters is so, so good. Like, uh, like, Stella feels light and bouncy, but also, you know, when she's moving on the deck, it's like, yes, this person has momentum and impulse. Even a tool here is like, oh, uh, there's, you know, I think I, I attribute a bit of that to the sound as well. The sound is really, really good. Oh, sorry for scaring you off, little seagull. Okay, something up here is done cooking. Oh, and then we just need the uh, poached veg. And then we can give Francis exactly what he needs. Oh, that looks like really good grilled fish. Oh, fish in a bed of lemon. Do not mind if I do. Oh, boy. Alright, so yeah, tell you what, how about we finish that off then? Pick up the 2,000 glimmery bits, and then we make our way on. Oh, Francis. What actually are we here to do? Francis the Wandering Merchant. And then, oh, resources found. Rare chest. Curiouser and curiouser. What other things are we going to be finding in Hummingbird? Oh. Yeah, I was talking about that in the last video as well. How it's, it's so 
so cool that whenever Stella does that kind of like sliding jump, whenever she lands, her feet are always perfectly perpendicular to the surface she lands on. Like, that's really, really clever. And they're kind of the maths you need to do to get that right. Not overly complicated, but the fact you did them is, is nice. Right, okay, and with this, this dish here, uh, we will have enough to uh, convince Francis that his errand is well complete. Lovely. There you go. 2,000 glims. Oh, and I get the, uh, the achievement Monkey 101. Alright. Anything I want here. Odd seeds. Ooh, I do like the idea of odd seeds. Yeah, why not? I'm a, I'm a sucker for odd seeds. Oh, and stuff here needs to be watered. But you know what we'll do, lads? We'll take care of that in the morning. Wait. Oh, he says, well done. Okay, do you want to talk then? You did your first errand. What a great haul. There's plenty more to do if you feel oh. like it. I'll always be around. Oh, Francis. You're a lovely grandfatherly figure. But look, we've got, we've got errands to take care of in the morning. And then we'll actually head somewhere. And do some things. Ah. This is exciting, though. So all my veg needs watering, <gasps> and it's ring ding ding time. Oh, good stretch in the morning. Who doesn't love it? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh right. Good morning, honeybee. How about a little snack, Stella? I'm feeling quite hungry. Oh no, summer. You're not doing too great. You've been having your unsettling dreams. I remember this. But you called me Honeybee. You're adorable, Ste Summer. God, Stella. You're adorable, Summer. I need a hug. Aww. A sneaky hug. Aw, oh, you're, oh, you're sweet. What is it you like? You know what? How do you feel about popcorn? <laughs> oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Yeah, you like popcorn? Well, I suppose we'll find out shortly enough. Snakes aren't able to chew, so that's a bit inconsistent there, but, like, you know, live and learn. Where are we going today, then? Ooh, I think I want to go for a little trip and pick up some treasure. Ooh, wow, they just say straight-up treasure as well. Treasure to be found here. All right, bye, Francis. Have a good day. Right, I imagine once we're gone, gone from Francis, we'll get rid of the old man music as well. Oh. Cut. Lovely. Some more linen fiber. Which I, I keep calling flax, which is what it actually is, but it's like... Apparently I shouldn't keep calling it that. Oh. Oh. Okay, out here. Hi. Hello, Gwen. I just couldn't explain it at first. But then it hit me. I'm starving. You are a creature. Talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could go for an, am an amuse bouche. Could you actually? Is starving. Uh oh. Dislikes shellfish fruit. Likes comfort food and something else. Shopped at Raccoon Inc. Actually, you like that. Needs a home. All oh, right. What do I need to do to get you a home? Tell you. We'll water these plants first. Good morning, Sprout. No, oh, I got radishes and we have mystery things. What were these again? I actually, don't, I don't remember because we we did actually like finish growing them at the end of the last, uh, the end of the last, uh, the last video. But I really don't recall actually what the the mystery seeds were. Let's let's hop up here. Bill, did we have a house for Stella? All right, we're we were looking for, we're looking for quartz. So that we can make fibers into thread. Oh, because we need thread to make a sawmill. And we need a sawmill to make planks foundry. Okay, so it's like quartz we're after. Where does one acquire quartz? In Gwen's Lodge. So limestone, which we have a good amount of. And maple logs. Alright, okay, wow. 
Hmm. Yeah, I might as well put it above the kitchen. Keep it nice and toasty. I love it. Perfect. Sea trash. Okay. How do you feel about sea trash then? Quick, jump in the water. There's wreckage. I'm sure I'll find some helpful materials in there. Atul, I'm way ahead of you. Uh, trash and I go back a long way. Oh, I can't drop off here. There we go. Oh, sweet, and I can pick up some clams and stuff too. Give. 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 Yeah, empty shells mostly, but when it's not an empty shell, it's awesome. Okay, lovely. Some more construction materials. More seeds. Is there any, like, diving points at any point along here? Nope. Okay, that's fair enough, then. We've got it, we've got it. I'll come talk to, T to Stella in a second. Uh, right after I've set a new course. Ah, uh, we might as well grab some more treasure. Oh, there's a big old turtle to do to go look at it somewhere. A quartz dragon? Okay, well, look, there's some treasure on the way. We might as well pick that up, and then, yeah, I suppose we can go to that treasury place. And what does Gwen have to say to us now that we've built our little little antler house? Which is super cute, by the way. Mm -hmm. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Mm -hmm. Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. Oh, I gotta go inside. Oh, this is a luxurious ass bed. That's really nice. Okay, how are you doing, Summer? Actually, no, a tool wants some help. I'm going bananas. What? I don't have anything to do. I've got this surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. I make you slap in your belly. I mean, that's that's keeping you busy. You're doing me a solid. You guys are my favorite niece. You know that. How many other nieces do you have? I think I need a place to focus that energy. In a sawmill. Yeah. Uh, Uncle, the idea of you focusing energy in a sawmill confuses me. You're just missing some of the key components. Ooh. Materials. Which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck. Yeah. Right? I built you a guest room, Mike. You just chill out. I mean, it's not great, yeah, but it's also not awful. What are you doing up there? Summer. You're perplexing me. Um. Yeah. So what? What? Oh, I can improve. What? Improve how? Improve kitchen. Okay. Apparently not. Improve Stella's place. Oh, I can add furniture. Oh, curious. Curious. Wall decorations. To spruce up the home. Why not? Okay, we'll give you... Okay, that's cute. Okay. So everyone's gonna get their own little bits of housing. That's fine. Um, these are, like, important buildings, then. And we still need to get quartz. So, talking to the quartz dragon will actually be able to do that. Hmm. Oh, is this... Oh, this is more wreckage, so we're close now. Oh. Oh, there's a bunch of dive spots, too. This is really good, actually. Uh, it's... Down and what? I can't actually remember how to dive. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, lovely. That's a bit of quartz. And is that more... That's another bit of quartz. Not doing too badly. We could probably just buy all the quartz we need at a nearby island. But look, we'll see. I mean, we're going towards a quartz dragon anyway. I'll give you my hug. Oh, and he's like, he's like, not even surprised. He's like, yeah, it goes right in front of himself. A little hug always brightens my day. Oh, a good time. Can we just set a new course after this as well? Yeah, because I kind of jumped off the off the ship a little bit early. That's all right though. So now that, now that we've gone that way, tell you what, we'll smack up to Green Halton Bay. It's strange though, right? Because I felt like they said, yeah, so Hummingburg is like the bigger, the bigger kind of town with like shops and stuff, but like Green Halton Bay seems like it's going to be a, 
good location. I can't remember why, but I've got a good feeling about it. Oh, you're just, uh, smacking the window with a hammer? Well, a tool. I am eager to put you in a sawmill then, if this is what you're going to do otherwise. I've been thinking about father recently. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow. No hate. No relief. Nothing. It didn't really matter to me. But it mattered to you. We spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. I bought you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater I had knitted a month prior. Mm -hmm. Mom was appalled, but you felt better. I've long wondered why you were so sad. And the best you could come up with is that you were sad in my stead. Mm -hmm. Feeling things I couldn't feel myself. Oh, you're headed off? It's raining. Oh, I feel like we were touching on important things there. I'm sorry, love. We should have, uh... I wish we could have finished off that conversation. Ooh. Well, I can stand on your windowsill, which is cool. Ooh, I'm under the eaves of a little roof. Oh, so this is very high up. Alright, we got a double jump as well. Exciting. Whoa, right in the water as well. And yeah, we're still going. Not an issue. Okay. Uh, do you want to continue that conversation? Mm -hmm. There isn't really a fire. <laughs> oh. But I wouldn't mind a nice hot dish to warm me up. Well. Tell you what. I'll go see if I can make something new. Some of the new ingredients I picked up. And, um. If you don't eat it, that's on you. You're the one who's starving, not me. Scallop. Oh, you don't like shellfish, though. How do you feel about squid? Hey, kitty. Oh, daffodil. God, what an adorable little cat. He's like... I feel like he's like a dumb cat, though. Green halt and bay discovered. But you know what I mean, though? He's like, he's like he's a little bit of a dopey cat. Like, you know, his headbutt stuff. For whatever reason. Uh... Like, he's, he's a very good, friendly, lovable cat, but he's like the dumb friend in the group. Oh. Okay, let's head off to Green Halton Bay, then. I'm sure our food will be fine when we get back. <sighs> Alright. So, Green Halton Bay. Ooh, some... Ooh, that was, a good, that was a good swing. You don't want your pickaxe to get too big and heavy. There we go. Oh, whoa! That's a load of copper. Oh, hey, little friend. Mm -hmm. Hey, I came here to cut down these trees, but mm -hmm. I forgot my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. Mm -hmm. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. Mm -hmm. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, mm -hmm. but I'm getting better. Aw, good for you. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. I think that if you don't have a little bit of disdain for your past works, then are you really, really, really improving? Also, this logs here? It is, yeah. Um, <laughs> Daffodil, I actually adore you. You know, like he's not helping. Not really. Okay. Maple logs there. A tool, I'll get to you and your berries shortly. Oh wait, you were covered in berries when I found you, weren't you? He's obviously going nuts about him. <laughs> what do you think he's saying? We're just going off the lip reading there. Mop, mop, mop. Mop, mop, mop. Not much he can be saying. What's Ooh. up with you? These look incredible. I was just dreaming about these. <laughs> I love the sounds he makes so much. So wait, if I take the berries... Is he getting wound up? Oh. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to try hug you. Ooh. These look incredible. I was just dreaming about these. All right, well, I'm just taking them off you. Fair enough. Ooh, a dive spot. Well, oh, Greenhalton was a good spot to grab some copper. There's like seven copper. Oh my goodness. And a valuable ring. Oh, Francis. Frankie. You know, my friend Frankie will be will be uh happy out. Would you like a berry tool? Is that what you're trying to say? Ah. Uh, Here's a berry. Ooh. Oh boy! I just love food! Keep them coming. Ooh. Can't get enough of it. Yeah, you just love food in general then. Fair enough. Like the exact opposite of Stella, who's like, 
I will not eat food that was cooked under a full moon, or under any moon, or any sun. Like, oh, come on. Your fussiness is without parallel. Okay, the food here is done as well. Lovely job. I'm glad food doesn't burn. Because otherwise, you know, I think I'd have an issue. Ooh, squid skewer. Now Stella. Stella, Stella, Stella. I mean Gwen. God damn it. I don't know why I keep thinking calling you Stella. Here, look, here's some food. Enjoy a squid skewer. Ha! This is absolutely exquisite. It's not cake, but you keep eating it as if it is. Where are they have the best fine dining restaurants I've been to? And I've been to those a lot. Thanks a lot. So wait, does that mean we learn we've learned you like fine dining? Yes. Ah, very good. Doesn't like a tool's bang. Yeah, he's just coming up to your your window and hammering on it, so that's fair enough. This game is funny sometimes. It's almost night time. Uh, but I'm gonna set a course just so when we get up tomorrow. Oh! Quartz dragon. That's not gonna be too dangerous, right? I hope not. I hope he's friendly. He's gonna be friendly, right? I'm gonna sleep away the rest of the night now. Sleep in the morning. It's just so when we when we get up we can start going. Hmm. No, I love the sound of the rain. It's very soothing. Oh, uh, dark, drizzly morning. I'm gonna ring the bell so that everyone can uh, wake up, but don't feel the need to get out of bed. Take some time, enjoy yourselves. Ring ding ding. How are the crops doing? Okay, we can cut down this flax. Lovely. We got some threads. We're gonna plant some new, some new seeds. Why not plant some corn? Yeah, go for it. I feel like I should plant, I should plant some coffee at some point. Coffee is a very valuable plant. Real though, what are you? Oh wait, we can harvest you now? Hold E to pull up. All right. Nice. Bunch of turnips. And you. You need to be watered. Okay. Wait a minute. Seems to me like... Yeah, we're bumping into a, a dragon real soon. Oh, hey, Summer. Oh, this. I thought that might be it. The dragon. I guess it is inevitable that it would be here. Well, I mean, I kind of came right for it, and oh my god, it doesn't look nearly as uh, nice as I thought it would. Following me, always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping them away might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Alright. Jumping on this bloke's head. Oh my god, it's a god of war. Okay, okay. How do I get up on top yet? Oh, oh there we go. Oh. Okay, we grab some quartz there. That's handy, actually. Oh, no. Oh, what if we go up, go up from here? Oh. Got it. Okay. Kind of pulled away at the, at the wrong second there. Yep, give me that one as well. Lovely, some more quartz. Handy dandy. Oh, this, this is kind of cool, actually. A little bit of a boss fight, in a way. No, do I have to... You have to time it from the other perspectives. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, you're just up, you're just up. And you're just up here. Lovely, okay, we'll get this corruption under here. You know what, it's actually kind of like Shadow of the Colossus in a small way. Oh. oh, there's the head of the dragon again. We'll get it this time for sure. No, we got one more set to do, I think. Hey, Mr. Dragon. Oh, you'll be all right. We'll get this corruption taken care of. I'm a Muppet and fell in the water. Oh, drat. Okay. There we go. Up on that, up on that little ledge there. Oh, gotcha. I'm gonna get a lot of quartz out of this. Oh, 
A little too heavy there for me. Stunned a little bit. Aww. I love, I love uh, Stella's little shock there. There's no color. Gwen for some reason. Ah, oh, crikey. I dropped. Okay, come on, love. You've got this. There we go. That's what we're after. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I've got a double jump as well. I should forget that. Yeah, it makes life way easier. <laughs> oh, and there we go. More quartz for the quartz god. Lovely. We're gonna get it this time, dragon. Don't you worry. There you go. You're free. Oh, wow. We ended up back on the boat. Are you gonna thank me now? Are you feeling better? Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. The corruption's gone. I wonder what it means. If we're ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Wait, so is that your your dreams resolved? Oh no, why are you upset? I witnessed the dragon from her past. Oh, well, you're also hungry. Can we do anything about that? How do you feel about just raw raspberries? Oh, thank you, I was quite hungry. Okay, well, you're not hungry anymore. That's good. A tool is, uh, doing a tool things. You know you can catch different fish when it rains? Maybe they like to come up to drink the fresh water that's dripping down. Pretty neat, right? I don't think that's true at all, Atul. But, um... I suppose I'm not a fish expert. Uh, out of all the things I'm expert in, fish is not one of them. Come on. Oh. There we go. Uh, forgetting all the buttons. Oh, lovely. Message in a bottle. Oh, it's the poetry from that, from that guy on the island. Alright, then. I hope I hope to get a lot of poetry. I'm gonna get a lot of poetry here, aren't I? Okay, who, who You know who is uh who's giving me a notification over here now? Atulia. Nice catch, Sprout. Oh. You just fished out a bottle from the sea. That's not trash. Could be anything in there. Oh. Tiny ship, an old wine, a baby crab. Yes, yes, it could even be trash. Go ahead and crack it open. The sommelier. How does one open these bottles? Uh, right, okay. Message in a bottle. Bottle with a message inside, what could this be? Ode to an axe. A lumberjack without an axe. Crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't feeling the cutting. They'll grow old, they said, laughing. Oh, so these are all literally just going to be about axes, aren't they? Brochure for Furugawa Tours. Nope. Greetings from Furugawa. Experience the wonders of the great oak forest and the serenity of magnificent rice fields. Now available in Grenu Fields. Okay, it's the brochure. And then we've got just some glims in a bottle, so that's 250 extra grams. Key for Stella's Cabin. Plantasia Fantastica. Right? Lemon. Up close, it's actually made of plastic. What? No way. And an O ball. Lovely. So we do have one O ball at the moment, and we have a new valuable ring. Right. Okay, cool. Ooh. There's a serious lack of power tools in here. Maybe that's the sawmill I was talking about. Yeah, that would work. Okay, I think I actually have the quartz now to, to make what you're after. Oh, uh, well, no. So here's what I well, here's what I do have, right? I have enough quartz to make a loom. I'll reorganize these buildings later. And now that I have a loom... Oh. Stella's going to want to go work the loom. I'm going to get there first. Oh. Unless you want to do it. Alright. This loom looks fantastic. Don't be scared. It's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. You put fiber inside, and then you spin. Just, just have to make sure you hit the target. This looks... I'm not going to say complicated, but... Is this... Is this... How does this work? You get a little extra if you hit the marker needle. See? Not really. Pretty easy, right? I mean, you make it look easy, but I have no idea what you're doing. Try it with this fiber. Okay. Wait, I can just... You know, maybe I should just try one for the time being. Oh, and I get a lot of thread out of it. Good job. See, it's not that hard. The machine does all the work, you just have to flow with it. And that's what makes it so soothing. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. 
I'll probably give it a go myself when you don't need mm -hmm. it. Don't worry about the materials. I'll manage. Oh, sweet. Oh, I got the achievement. At least someone is happy. Wait. What? Why are you in such a good mood? <laughs> Despite a tool slapping on your windows. Oh, wow. Yeah, it has access to a loom. It's a nice house. Shop for raccoon ink. Happy to have shown me around the loom. Doesn't like a tool's bang. What has eaten a meal she likes? Awesome. Awesome. Maximum happiness for, for Gwen. That's that's great. Talk. Ooh. I was hungry, as usual, so I did something about it. Went outside the boat and got some berries, Ooh. but I went a little overboard. I have too much. Here you go. Ooh. Have a berry day. Sweet. Thank you so much, Atul. I'll be sure to use those to feed you later. <laughs> for now, I'm going to uh, slap literally all of this linen fiber in the loom, because why would I not want a load of thread? Ah, I just have to do it once every time for, uh... So I have to do it for every, uh, bit of thread I put in there. Fair enough. This is pretty cool, actually. I wonder what it's like... Is it just purely mechanically powered? Oh, I wonder... I do wonder how that works. I've got a wealth of linen thread that we're gonna be building this next place. Lickety split. I was admiring my handiwork or Gwen. God damn it. Okay, I've, I've literally just run out, so now. Now, uh. Yes, Gwen is gonna be taken over. I do not know why I keep mixing their names up. They're like. Not even similar. It's just like. I suppose a deer to me has Stella energy. And someone with a, with a floppy hat has Gwen energy. You know? That's just my personal biases interfering. Okay. Now, we can build a sawmill. Um, we're gonna pop it up here, because why not? Again, stuff I'll, I will fix soon enough. Actually, speaking of things I need to fix soon enough, how much, how many, how many wooden planks will, will I require for the foundry? Ah, I need coal as well, but I'll need ten wooden planks. Okay. Let's make wooden planks though, whilst we're here. Ooh. This looks amazing! Thank you for helping me out, Stella! This sawmill's so big! What a beauty! There's just one problem. Now don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. See what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. Okay, lovely. But can I also use the sawmill? Oh wow, there's like layers. That's a big old place. Alright, well. Maple log. Good logs from a maple tree, very useful building material. Let's see if the sawmill will do the trick. Let's pop three in there. Okay. Putting in... Uh, okay, I got sawdust and two maple logs. You're doing it all wrong. Uh, apparently. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Then you can cut. Measure twice and cut. You need to keep your saw blade sitting and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky or an arm, or something worse. A hit from the old hammer? For good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. Finalize. Oh, wait, I need to control this. Whoops. That wasn't terribly smooth. Would you look at that? Oh. Whoops. Yeah, I'm not very good at that one. <laughs> Too great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Just remember to be careful with the sawmill. Don't go and mess around with the dangerous saw blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. <laughs> okay. How many planks do I have now then? Probably a few. There you go. We'll cut those. Alright. I'm taking. Oh, almost had that one perfect. Okay. We've got a good few planks coming in now though. Oh, it's always. I always go too low. Oh, bugger. Oh, my first perfect log. I still got sawdust out of it. Fair enough. Oh, okay. I'm getting. I'm getting the hang of this now. Oh, that's four maple planks there, though. That, that's that's good. Okay, okay. So that's us done with the with the sawmill for the time being. Oh, little drop there. Sprout. You've been chopping it up in the sawmill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now you've got some materials. You can build me a house. Let me just get something real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. 
Pretty basic, just a few hinges here. A few nails there. Oh! I've already got some materials to build something nice. I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently, I snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. Alright, a tools workshop. Aw, good old uncle in his workshop. Okay, let's see where we can slap this then. Oh, I need a lot of maple planks. Well, I might as well um, select a new destination anyway. And then... Uh, Hmm. I'm gonna grab some treasure and then maybe go to Albert. Yeah, you know. Okay, so here's here's the plan. We're gonna go grab treasure. We go through the jellyfish nightmares. Uh, grab some more treasure, and then maybe just head straight through the storm to more jellyfish nightmares. Then treasure. Then jellyfish nightmares. Then treasure. Then Albert. Okay, so we've got a, we've got a course planned out for the next little while. Uh, unless something else like pops up, but I can't think of anything else really popping up, you know. Hey Stella, as you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Your odd bit would call it laser-focused tummy. Don't get me wrong, I still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I just like for you to put effort into this one. I'll give you a shot when you get a craving. Hopefully, I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. Well, fair enough. Oh, hey. Stella, I've got to tell you. There's something I'd stumbled upon some time ago, and it didn't... And until now, it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Mm -hmm. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as it sounds, it's not too far from here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to mm -hmm. avoid it. At any rate, it's been hard to ignore. As I spend much of my time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. Mm -hmm. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. Okay. Villa Maggiore. Maggiore, rather. Not Maggiore. Uh. Okay. Now I put some good stuff here. More logs as well. Lovely to play. Ooh, and a, a muscle. Lovely. Oh. Lovely. Everything's lovely. Ah, oh, okay. People have headed to bed, so I might as well sleep the night away. Oh, I do really love traveling by a nice bright sun. <sighs> I'll see if the, the circuit's still the same in the morning, or if like, the jellyfish actually move. I'm not quite sure. Hmm. All right. Good morning, everyone. Ah, some good stretches. All right. Good evening. Good morning, everyone. Let's see what else you got going on here. So yeah. Oh. There's still... There's still treasure to be found here. Did I miss some more of a good morning, honeybee? Aw, oh, good morning, Sprout. Hello, Uncle. Hello, Summer. Okay. He's doing well. Oh? Have a little snack, Stella. You know, you're a hungry little snake, aren't you? More raspberries. I don't want to sound picky, but I've eaten this very recently. Don't you have anything else? I suppose. <laughs> have you subsist on a diet of exclusively berries is maybe a little bit cruel. Good morning, Stella. Right, I have some popcorn. That does not take very long at all. Right. Are there any other dishes I want to prepare just in case people get snackish? Yeah, I might as well cook a herring. Right, okay. You know, I can leave that for a little bit. Well, well. I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. Well, aren't you excited for popcorn? Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort foods so damn much. Okay, so you will you will eat popcorn multiple times. That's good. Oh, we can pull up these mysterious things. Right, they just they help me pull up trash. But, like, not all of it's trash. Someone's actually quite valuable. Not all of it, but valuable to Frankie. Red? 
Mm. I've got some thread here. I was going to use it to weave some fabric for you later, but if you want to... If you want, I can give it to you for you to weave. Do you want the thread? Um... No. I'll keep the thread for my weaving. I think you might be able to use it for your own fabric. Fabric's a material. I don't know. I don't I don't necessarily want to take things unless I have to. Hmm. You must like the smell of food. Ah, right. I'm going to give this to Summer. Uh, I have no issue remembering Summer's name. Oh no. No, no, no. So, don't you remember? I don't eat any animal product. No breast milk or no ova. Oh, so you're a vegan? Certainly. They're not meant for our consumption. And the meat? No, no. I'm sorry, but I won't impose, impose my choice on others. But I cannot eat that. Fair enough, so you're a vegan. A vegan snake. Alright then. Um, popcorn for you it is. <laughs> That's really interesting. Sawdust? It's coarse, it's rough, and irritating, and it gets everywhere. That's hilarious. That's a Star Wars reference, if you don't get it, by the way. I don't know why I'm cooking sawdust, but I am. Um, wait, I can just make coal, can't I, by cooking, cooking wood? Huh. Oh, the dragon's back. Grenu Fields? Oh, and there's Stella's place. You know, we'll just, we'll cut through here and we'll go to Stella's place. That seems like a, a good plan. Hey, a tool. Ooh, all my corn's growing. Or grown, rather. You know me. I can always go for a little snack. Something salty. Something buttery. Something with flavor. Oh, jeez. You know what would be just perfect? I got a bag of popcorn all to myself. Let's go ahead and heat up some corn. Oh, way ahead of you, pal. Whoops. I don't have popcorn on me. I thought I was going to make some, and then I started cooking some uh, sawdust. So, I'll tell you what. I'll be, I'll be back to you in a minute. I just finished cooking my sawdust. That is a lot of corn. Oh my god, that is a bountiful crop. Alright guys, you might want to go inside. It's uh, it's about to get ugly. Oh, I didn't even plant anything up here, did I? What seeds do I have? I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant all my odd seeds. Every single time I have them, I'm gonna plant them. Why would I not? They're some of the coolest seeds that exist. So then, a word please, Stella. Oh. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been very tired recently. I'm afraid to say that it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house is... As lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit no too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, really, but could you, you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tremendously. And then we could continue our lessons. But nothing too fancy. Just a place to sleep and meditate. Lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if it had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella, deeply. Natural stones. All right. Again. Here we are again. The jellyfish are stealing all the light. As they've stolen all hope from me. I'll never get used to it. But part of me makes me think it's all my fault. All right. You can do your thing again. Are you up for it? Yes. Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. Laying at the ley line. Huh. I'm curious about that, actually. Oh. Food's done, but I can't pick it up at the moment. All right, I got that. I got that green one. Awesome. So bright jelly acquired. This music is so spooky. But yeah, it's like it's really as atmospheric as it is. This game doesn't do a lot of threat like yeah it's it's menacing sure because it's all dark and spooky but at the same time like there's no negative ramifications if you're bad i suppose that's good though it's like you know if you just want to play this game to have a good time necessarily ha like having a, a lot of challenging mechanics come into it all of a sudden um i don't know it could diminish your your enjoyment of it i suppose so maybe like it, it being easy doesn't diminish my enjoyment of it you get me. I, I really don't mind. Uh, I just, uh, I suppose, it, it's it's definitely different to what I normally normally would play. There's something that, like you know, condone not condones, but uh, conveys. Yeah, that's the word. That really conveys, you know, dread. And I know, I know, Gwen is upset, but like, I don't know. 
these jellyfish just aren't doing it for me. I hate them. And I hate go the idea of going to jellyfish water, but like, you know, it, there's no negative ramifications to doing it, if you get me. It's just, it is how it is. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Be grand, as we say. All right. Yeah, that all works out perfectly. A tool wanted popcorn. So after going through, oh no, this gives us coal. Handy. Go to popcorn. We'll do that very quickly. And then we'll start making it more coal. I love that the, the Everlight becomes like loves. It's a really handy object, actually. Okay. Uh, more sawdust. We'll cook that. I think we can get a foundry going as well. I think we can get a foundry going as well. Oh, you are a hungry fellow. Where's the popcorn? Hmm. That really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. Aww. Oh. I used to make bags of popcorn on movie night for them. Even the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. Oh. It was the only way to calm down those little monsters. Watching those these terrible kids movies. Oh. I wish I was still oh. there to see them laughing. For them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. Oh, a tool. That's actually, that's quite oh. sad. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine. Nothing special. Ooh. Reminds me of my first kitchen. My terrible apartment. Didn't know what I was doing in there. Ooh. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Anyway, there's a little something to brighten this mess up. Ooh. Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll need to actually work for it, but it'll be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Ooh. Your kitchen will be looking right in no time. Aw, I love how delighted uh, Stella looks about stuff at times. Ooh. Kitchen upgrade. Whoa, you are, you are quite the jumper, my friend. Uh, are you doing alright? Mm. Got some thread here. I'm just gonna use it to weave some fabric for you later, but I thought I can give it to you. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I'll take the thread this time. Here it is. Thank you. Big stove. No, oh, but I gotta water my, my plants. As well as the fact that I've got a new course to set, so then I'll come over and do stuff like that. Oh boy. God, you got mad ups. I suppose you're a giant frog, man. That makes perfect sense. Okay, yeah, we'll get this treasure here, and then we'll go and have a look at Gwen's kind of like old home. <sighs> I suppose, yeah. Well, we'll do that then. And we wanted the kitchen upgrade as well, didn't we? Oh, we'll have to do that with the uh, blueprints. But, so, going up here, and then lovely like, doing our cool little flip. Improve. So we can improve this this one. Ah, we need linen fabric. Okay. Right, well we don't have any of that at the moment. So hmm. Is it possible to make linen fabric? Uh, no, okay. So we can we can't weave stuff on a loom. We can like make thread though, which is good. I need one more coal after this, I'm pretty sure. In order to uh in order to make the foundry, if I'm not mistaken. Let me let me take another gander at it. Also, I haven't really done that a lot of this. Oh. Build. Summer's Sanctuary. Requires a good bit of oak, plank, and some limestone. Okay, good to know. I'll get on that once I get more limestone. But I'm not really gonna convert the planks until then. Yeah, okay. I need one more coal. And we need some planks as well. Okay. Well, a good few dive spots here, actually. That's good. Ooh, and uh, there's a... Uh, lovely. Empty shell. Let's open up this box. Cool. Got some good stuff there. Empty bottle as well. Dive for me. There we go. Uh, limestone. Right? Yep. Awesome. And limestone. Handy, actually. You know, speak. Like, I, I'm like, oh, I need limestone. Just start showing up. Okay, this is not how it's meant to work. Uh, that's actually quite funny. Stella, you are very much swimming backwards. Yeah, I don't know what that was about, but that was, that was actually kind of funny. Oh, slipped off the deck there for a second. All right. And with that, with that set, we can uh, we can make way. Uh, to Gwen's old home. 
Villa Maggiore. God, I feel like a lot of these characters actually are maybe a touch more tragic than I would have initially expected. This feels like it could be a pretty emotionally heavy game. Huh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Ready for all these feels. Oh, but we need to... We need to make a bunch of, uh... Make a bunch of, uh... Good, good planks. Oh, there's a good one there. Oh yeah, so if you get a perfect, you get like twice the planks. Yeah, okay, so... Oh. Oh. Alright, so that should be all I need for the foundry, really, and I just need the coal. That I'm just gonna have gotten here, right? Sweet, so we're gonna... They're not well organized, I, I will reorganize them. Um, but we're gonna have all these kind of like main buildings done up for the time being. Wait. Oh, I've got like... Wait, what? Where are my planks? Villa Maggiore discovered. That's a really, really cool island. Okay, but wait. I thought... I thought I had a bunch of planks. Did I not? Oh, maple planks. I need oak planks. What? So wait, that it actually matters? Oak planks. Oh, crikey. Okay. Well, at least I have the coal now at this point. So, I'll tell you what. You know, Gwen and I are going to go to our old villa. Here we are. It's curious. I'm both excited and anxious. And start to have second thoughts, as if, never mind, let's go. Back to the past. Let's do this. Hmm. You shouldn't really, shouldn't really stand up on boats like that, by the way, unless you're, like, you know, really well balanced, because it's very easy to fall over. Oh, this place looks gorgeous. Oh, neat, there's a little, little tunnel here that I can't really see. <laughs> An old painting and some linen seeds. I'll be right up to you. I'll be right up to you. Hmm. Might there have been another door over the other side? Wouldn't be surprised. The door there as well. A dive spot here, actually. Wow, that is a fat stack. That is a nice old coin collection. You want to check out that little uh, little gardening hub as well, just to just to have a gander. Oh, it's locked. Fair enough, I suppose. Uh, that makes perfect sense, actually. It's a lovely night. What a beautiful villa. I'm so sorry for robbing your house. All right, I'll talk. I'll come and right talk to, talk right to you. How long has it been since we've been here together, Stella? Seems Jerry has been talking, taking good care of the premises. He's always been the best gardener we've ever had with us. Mm -hmm. Mom has not been home much since father died. Shit, I'm much more emotional than I thought I ever could be. Mm -hmm. I love this house so much. As much as I hated it, probably. Mm -hmm. Look, I don't think I can go in there. Even with you. It's just... Mm -hmm. No, I can't. Go without me. I'll wait for you here. Here's the key. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Stella, if you stumble upon my old music box, would you bring it back to me? Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Remember, this house has always been a real labyrinth. If you're lost, you have to follow the light. Good luck in there. Mm -hmm. I'll wait for you outside. Alright. Does this key actually also then help with, uh... With that little place in the back? I'll check. Uh, but I can't imagine it does. I imagine there'd be, like, a separate shed key. Yeah. Okay, probably a separate shed key. That's fine. Now, I'm equipped with a double jump. So I need to remember that as well once I'm inside. I'm not sure if I'll only be able to see myself through the windows, or if it'll be a separate thing. Oh, there we go. Unlocked. Love it. Okay, so follow the light. Oh, there's a ladder. Lovely. There's a ladder up this way. Okay. Oh, there's a ladder up this way. A ladder down this way. No, this is exciting. Just following the light. 
It is a bit of a labyrinth. Wow, I can imagine just running around in the... Uh, that's kind of funny. Here we go. Uh, first things first. Neat stuff. Ooh, a loom upgrade. And the music box. Okay, lovely. Mm -hmm. Welcome, small traveler, to my humble palace. Everything I own is of the finest quality. Everything is also bolted down, so don't get any funny ideas. Who are you? And how would one get up a little bit further? Okay, you can just jump up here. Fair enough. And I've grabbed myself an old carpet. Lovely. Okay. And can I get up here somehow? I'm curious as to how I get up there. Okay. No, if I'm not getting up that way, I'm not getting up that way. I can't climb up on the eaves there? No? Okay. Back down I go. There you go. Oh, I didn't mean to sit down necessarily. Alright. Found the box? Could you give it to me? Oh yeah, of course. Give... Music box. This old and dusty music box is locked. Thank you. I'll hold on to it. Oh, you found something else? Oh, I forgot we even had that. An old manual for a golden royale. But they had they had one as a first prize? Uh, in the year's, town's yearly tombola? I dreamt of having this machine since second grade, but father would never let me participate in the lottery. This manual will come in handy. I can use it as an upgrade for your loom. I... Yeah, let's get back to the boat and forget this place ever existed. Oh, Stella. Oh, Stella. God damn it. Oh, Gwen. I'm sorry that that's bringing back painful memories for you. But look. It's good that... It's good that you kind of like come to terms with your past as well. Mm -hmm. Stella, I... Nah, never mm -hmm. mind. Nostalgia is not my forte. I'm slightly happy the villa is still in good condition. Or is mm -hmm. it? Okay, let's change the subject. You must have noticed the improve and improved tab in your blueprint table. Through through there, you can add decorative elements to the spirit houses and the stations. Mm -hmm. It's time to upgrade this loom of yours. Once you've got all the required resources, go, go for it. It's the only way to craft fabric from thread. Mm -hmm. Ah, go on. Improve. Bring it over to the loom down here. Lovely. And the upgrade, I've got plenty of bright jelly, plenty of maple planks. Okay, so yeah, there's a difference. And then plenty of linen thread, and I also have the glims to do it. So let's do it. Upgrade. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, and I'm imagining that making fabric is a bit more challenging. Right? We're just going upstairs to bed. You know what? Okay, if you're heading upstairs to bed, then I'll then I'll finish off watering my plants, and then I think we'll we'll leave it there for the night. Uh, don't want to ring the bell now because you know everyone's asleep and it's very inconsiderate. But, uh, there we go. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, don't need to water anymore. But that's all right. I wanted to plant something. There we go. Carrots. Carotten. Oops, I forgot to water you now. Oh, jeez. No, no rest for the wicked, is there? Okay. So yeah. We're probably going to leave it here for the night, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care. And goodbye. Reconstruct teleport. Oh, yes. That is easily one of the best upgrades for a teleportation heavy build. Add a crew teleporter on the same station? Oh, guys. This is a this is a blessed run right here. This looks like it's going to be it. They resisted. Oh, thank God. Just, just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Jump, next sector. That was too fucking dangerous.